So the next thing to know about fonts is we have font family and we also have font size. So maybe I want my H1 to have a different font size. And so far we've been working in pixels. And the default size of a font is 16 pixels in most browsers. And so right now, if I, if I look at, if I just put 16 pixels here and comment that out, and I go look at this page, here's what that page looks like. That's 16 pixels. Now if I comment this back on, that's 16 pixels. Oh, because my H1 is different, right? So now I'm telling my H1. So H, H, so if this is a paragraph, let's look at a paragraph here. Because H1s get formatted by browsers. There we go. All right, so there's 16 pixels. And if I take this off, still the same, OK? H1s come with some formatting to them, which you could change. You could overwrite. So if I wanted to double that, I could do 32 pixels. And if I wanted to go up even more, I just make that more pixels. Right, something here. And so these are units of measurement. So if we go and we look at MDN font size and we read about it, it's a CSS specifies size font. Setting this property may change the size of other items since it is used to compute a value uh, of other relative length units. So we could go look at those length units. Uh, CSS data type represents a distance value. Lengths can be used in numerous CSS properties, such as width, height, margin, width, height, margin, padding, border width, font size, text shadow. Right. So they are CSS data type is what uh, the length is, and there are uh, relative. There are units. Relative length units represent a measurement in terms of some other distance. Um, so relative to something else, what size should this be? And so some of those are like M and rim. And there's viewport percentage lengths, view, VH and VW. You know, viewport height and viewport width. We've talked those. And then there's absolute lengths. So pixel is an absolute length. It's always the same. So mostly we'll stick with pixel. We'll stick with VH and VW, and we'll stick with RIM and M. So let's explore those lengths here for a second. So let's say that I have, let me get an example, and we'll have a div, and then we'll have a paragraph in that div. And maybe we'll do a section. There we go. And, uh, and then in there, um, just trying to think how to illustrate this. I think that's that's fine. We'll try that and see what happens. So the default, we'll leave that paragraph. The default of that paragraph is 16 pixels. There's 16 pixels. I could say that that paragraph font size is 32 pixels. Boom. Right? Or I could say that the div font size is 32 pixels. And then everything inside that div is 32 pixels. And uh, I could also say that this is font size is 32 pixels and then my paragraph right is going to be uh, one font size 1m and an m and that's the same but what about if I make this like 0.3m just got really small what about if I make it 3m just got really big and so the m m is from the letter M in type typography, when they used to use metal letters, is the size of a, the letter M. That's where you get it from. 
and an m is whatever the size of my parent, I'm going to take that and multiply it by something either greater, the same, or less. Right? So for m as a, as a unit of measurement, a 1m means this is going to be 32 pixels because its parent is 32 pixels. A 2m means this is going to be 64 pixels. It's twice its parent because its parent is 32 pixels. A 0.5m means this is going to be 16 pixels because it's half of what its parent is. Right, so there it's 16. So that's the that's how m works. M m is a relative measurement. It's relative to its parent. Give me whatever the font size of my parent is, and you know, it's a uh, it's relative to its parent, and multiply it by whatever that percentage is. So that's an m. Then we also have a rim. So a rim is the root element, which is the HTML element, which by default is 16 pixels. So how many pixels will this be? It'll be 8. It'll be 16 times 0.5. And so that's going to be really small. Or we could say, you know, that we want this to be 5 times 16 is going to be 80. That's going to be 80 pixels now. And no matter what my div is, I can make my div 2 pixels, the font size, this size is still the same because this is going off of the root element, which is the HTML element. So we have M, which goes off of the parent. Now this is going to be 10 pixels because its parent is 2 pixels times 5 is 10. And then we have rim, which goes off of the root element, which is 16 pixels by default, the HTML element. So that's M and rim and pixels. And those are pretty much the ones that you use. M, rim, and pixels. So that's font font size. Anybody have questions about M, rim, and pixel? When might you want to use something that's relative to its parent? When you want, like, you're building a little unit and you want the font sizes to be, you know, proportionate to each other in that little unit. And so as you change an aspect of the top level of the unit, everything else proportionately changes in relation to it. Does that make sense? So that would be an M using a parent or a rim going off of the root. So M and rim are the relative font sizes. They're probably the best ones to use. So those are font sizes.